Hi everyone, it's Paula of City Lights Makeup Artistry and today we'll be doing the look of Quinn Fabray from Glee. I know a lot of people were debating on if she actually wears makeup or not, but being a makeup artist I know that obviously nobody goes on camera without wearing any makeup. So today I'll show you how to look just like her, or kinda. I'm going to start by using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Eyeshadow Primer. I'm going to use my fingertip to apply the eyeshadow primer on my eyelid. And I'm going to put it all the way up to my eyebrow. For eyeshadow, I'll be using the Urban Decay Naked Palette. The color I'll be using is called Naked. Press your brush into your eyeshadow and then press it onto your primed eyelid. Only go up to about the crease of your eye because that's where we're going to blend. Now take your ring finger and go right on the harsh edge and just lightly brush it. This will create the natural blend that you need. For eyeliner, I'll be using the color Stay Coffee by Estee Lauder. It's a gel pot liquid eyeliner. Take your angle brush and lightly brush it in the pot. And then flatten your eyeliner out a little bit on your hand. Now we don't really want to see the eyeliner on the eye, so we're going to try to stay as close to the eyelashes as we can. Now we're going to go back to our eyeshadow brush and use the naked eyeshadow and lightly sweep over the eyeliner that we just applied. So the line is not as harsh. And again, blend with our ring finger. Now going back to the Stay Coffee, we're going to line our lower lash line. and be sure to blend. With this look, you do not want any harsh lines. They should all be soft. Today, I'll be using a white eyeliner to line the inside of my eye to brighten my eyes. For a brow highlight, I'll be using Nude by NYX. And I just like to pat it under my eyebrow and then slowly blend it in with the crease so there's no lines. The goal to achieve is soft and natural. And make sure to only use matte eyeshadows. Do not use anything with any shimmer. Next, I'll be doing mascara. I have my trusty CoverGirl Lash Blast. Now, in order to get full eyelashes, I always blink my mascara on. Next, I'll be doing foundation. I'll be using my everyday foundation, which is Maybelline Matte Mousse. Now I'm going to shade in my eyebrows. And to get the dewy, natural, rosy cheeks like Quinn, I'm going to use Ben Nye Cream Blush in CR3. I'm going to dab my finger in the blush and make the cheek implant face. You don't have to worry about blending just yet.
and make sure you cover the apples of your cheeks. Next, I'm going to lightly blend on the top and bottom of the apples of my cheeks. And you can take it all the way up to your temple. Again, just so we don't have any rough lines. Next, I'm going to layer with my cream blush by NYX in hot pink. And to set everything in place, I'll be using Every Makeup Artist Secret Weapon Translucent Powder. Today I'll be using a Translucent Powder by Ket. And you want to make sure that your brush kind of eats the powder. And then we're going to tap on your face. And once you feel the powder is completely covering your face, then you can blend in a circular motion. Next, we're going to do a little bit of contouring right underneath our cheekbones, our jawline, sides of our nose, and also on the top of the forehead. Next, we're going to highlight. I like to use Hip Eyeshadow in Precious. And I put it just on the very tip of my cheekbone the middle of the forehead, down the nose, and right here on the chin. Now last but not least, we're going to do our lips. Quinn always has a very natural pinky kind of color, so I'm going to mix a few glosses together to accomplish the look that she has.